Okay, so today we are going to discuss four questions from quantum chemistry and all the questions have been appeared in CSIR for four marks. All the four questions are very simple. Uh, you are going to actually, you know, perfect in these kind of questions once you watch this video completely. Okay, so first we will discuss this particular question, the unnormalized radial wave function of a certain hydrogen atom eigenstate you have been with the equation a possible angular part of the eigenstate is we are uh, supposed to find out the angular part of this particular equation so angular part means it should be it is like sin theta cos theta or like that the angle theta comma phi so before we proceed with that we will just uh, go with few basics uh, so if you are given with psi is equals to r of theta comma phi r of theta comma phi these are your spherical polar coordinates okay you are spreading the wave equation uh, like you can solve it better if you use spherical polar coordinates instead of your cartesian coordinates okay so this is actually it is equal to r of r t of theta and z of phi you don't have to know the complete concept because it is a three phase derivation if you if i solve the complete schrodinger wave equation using the spherical polar coordinates so I'll try to make it easy through few steps. Just go uh, with the, uh, I mean, the, just go with the things which I'm go going to teach you here. You will understand it better by the end of the video. Okay. So, what you have to know is that uh, the solution is divided into three components. R part, T part and Z part. Your R part depends upon your quantum numbers N comma L. Your T part depends upon your quantum number L comma M and the z part depends upon the quantum number m okay so again this is actually been uh, classified as r of n comma l of r and y of l comma m theta comma phi like the radial and the angular parts are divided r as i said depends upon n comma l this is a radial function l comma m it is uh, actually m is over here also the z part that is phi part so it is written as y of l comma m in a common way and this is your angular part okay so in this particular question we have to solve the this angular part of the particular given eigenstate okay so how do you solve that question is that this this is what you have been given i have taken r common 6 minus r exponential of minus r by 3 now why i have taken r common to find out my l value okay this particular l value angular part we have to find out that is l comma m so l value from this particular equation we can know that whatever is the power of the r that is your l value so here in this particular equation if you take r common what do you get r power will get one because if you take r common it is it is something like this okay so what is the power over here it's one so your l value comes out to be one now what is the another thing which you have to know here is that when when l value is zero now you have to find your m value right you have found out l now you have to find m value because you have to find the angular part so l is zero then what is your m value it is zero okay these are the things you should know to solve the questions directly without knowing the concepts and m value is equals to plus one right we know that if l is equals to 1 m is equals to minus l 0 and plus l so m can be plus 1 m can be 0 and m can be minus 1 so if m is equals to plus 1 what is the angle it is sine theta cos phi if m is equals to 0 it is cos theta if m is equals to minus 1 it is sine theta sine phi so what is the possible m value if you look at the options over here you have not been given with the sign anywhere in this option this option and this is not at all possible because there is no one over here right you have to find the angular part so answer cannot be one and it cannot be either a or b because there is no sign function only when l is equals to one when do you get cos theta when m, when m is equals to zero so what is the possible angular function for l is equals to 1 it cannot be this 2 it can be only this particular thing that is m is equals to 0 cos theta so what is your right option answer c c is your right option okay now we'll solve another few questions now the radial part of the hydrogen wave function is given as this 
where alpha comma beta are constant this function is then identifiable as you have to find the type of the orbital from this given wave equation or wave function okay now as i said how do you find your l value by looking at the powers this i wrote it as one it has not been given in the question they just gave r into alpha minus r so directly you have been given here l value as one now when is L is equals to 1, it, it corresponds to S, uh, P orbital, okay? If L is equals to 0, it corresponds to S orbital. We all know this. If L is 2, it is G orbital. So, if L is equals to 1, uh, what is the orbital? It corresponds to P orbital. And in the options, where are the P orbitals present? It's only B option. There is no confusion. If it, if it was another P orbital given, then you would have been given with the N value. I am not discussing about n over here because there is no use of n. It will come over here. There I will teach you about n. So n is not required because directly you are getting p orbital and this is the only option given. So the correct option is your b option. Okay. This was another 4 marks question. Now here you have to know here the same kind of question. You have to identify the type of the orbital. But you are being given with your n value as well as your l value as well as your m value. All n, l, m are given. Just by looking at the uh, wave function, you have to identify what is n, comma, l, comma, m, and you have to assign the type of the orbital to this particular given wave function. Okay. So as I told you, now you are okay with the r because just look at the equation. You will find that r is present over here. The free r, not the one which is combined in the equation. Okay. Always you have to look at look for the free r. So here the r value is power one. So, your L value comes out to be 1. And your M value, look, it is cos theta. And when is uh, uh, cos M is cos theta, when M value is equals to 0. Okay. And now you have to find your N value. What is the N value? N value is nothing but your this particular value. Whatever is present in your exponential term with Z R by N A naught. This is a general form where you this particular value corresponds to your N value. So, your n value comes out to be 3. So, the orbital can be 3, p. Now, is it x, y, z? How do you know that? Is that uh, these are fixed when your z axis is considered as the principal axis. This particular sine theta cos phi is px. This is pz and this is py. Okay. Whenever your z axis is considered as your principal axis, uh, this uh, have been uh, considered to be as uh, cos theta as pz, this is px and this is your py. Okay, so cos theta is nothing but your pz. So this corresponds to pz. This is your pz. So what is the correct option? 3pz. This is the orbital which corresponds to this particular complicated wave function. I hope you are understanding this. Okay. Because there are many questions asked on these kind of questions. There are videos available. So, I will not stress more upon these kind of questions. You can go and watch over there. If you have any doubts, you can comment down. Okay. So, what all you have to know? L and N from a particular wave function to answer any type of the question which always appears in your CSI one or the other time based on this concept. Now, this particular question is, uh, can you can consider it as a question of the day because uh, this, you can't believe it is a 4 marks question in your CSIR, okay. And the question was that the most probable distance for one electron systems like hydrogen atom is. A direct formula for most probable distance is nothing but A0 by Z for one electron systems. It is applicable only for one electron systems. Now, if it is a hydrogen atom, what is the answer? It is A0 by 1. That is the atomic number. So, what is the answer? A0. A0 is the most probable distance for hydrogen atom. Uh, if you were given with a helium uh, atom for one electron system, helium plus, uh, then, then the answer would be A0 by 2. If you were given with beryllium plus 2, then the answer would be A0 by 3. Okay. This is applicable only for one electron systems. But the atom may change. This time you were asked hydrogen atom. Some other time they may give you beryllium or helium or any one electron system. In that case, you have to remember that the general formula is A0 by Z. And Z is your atomic number. Directly substitute the number, you will get your final answer. So this was another 4 mark question which appeared in your CSIR.
So quantum is very easy to score, just that you have to know very few basics to just attempt any kind of questions which appear in your CSIR. Right? Thank you.